Hey everybody, Mrs. Wigton here. This is a recording to help you guys get ready for your rough draft that will be due when you guys get back from testing. So I wanted to just take you through just a few steps here. So you're gonna go again into your content and you're gonna look at your unit six, seven, explanatory writing, pre-write and rough draft. Now, last week you have completed or you completed the thesis for the explanatory project. So I'm going to go ahead and open that because we are going to use that. So I'm going to have that open. We'll download that. So I'm going to I'm going to open that and then I'm going to have that so I can just reference it because you will take the thesis sentence or the thesis statement that you wrote and you will put it into your rough draft. All right, so let's let that enable editing here and we will go down this way. Now I'm gonna go to the actual rough draft. So you're gonna click on this explanatory project draft. And it's gonna open up three different choices for sake of explanation. I am just going to click on the standard essay document. So it's gonna download that as well so we'll open that and this will be another document that you will need to enable editing so you're going to go up there and click enable editing there and this is just a graphic organizer for the standard essay format if that is what you choose to do so for the sake of this recording i have chosen to do the standard essay so here in my introductory information i'm going to begin with some type of hook sentence something to get my reader into reading my essay again your topic is on relationships so you might want to start off with something a question or a quote from something but you're going to start with a hook sentence that grabs the reader's attention then you're going to give the title and author in your second sentence what we're asking you to do here is whatever so back here in this 6-1 assignment we ask you to choose at least one of the following texts that will support your thesis statement your essay you remember you have to cite evidence from one of these texts to support your answer because you are explaining to your reader the important attributes you're not giving your opinion you're leaving yourself out of it and you are giving facts as far as attributes that are necessary for building healthy relationships and you can use any of these texts so that is what we're asking you to do in that first paragraph here so you're going to begin with a hook sentence you're going to give the title and the author of whatever story or article you're using if you're using more than one then make sure that you give us that leave out your opinion and here is where you are also going to take that thesis sentence so your next sentence should transition to your thesis and what you're going to do is you're just going to go to your thesis statement whatever you wrote here so let's say that i wrote this as my thesis statement so i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to go into the actual essay format here and after i've written my hook sentence here and my uh, text that I'm using and the author then I'm going to put in my thesis statement which is going to be that right there again make sure that you adjust it so that it looks right building healthy relationships require certain attributes such as contentment loyalty and trust so that is what I'm going to use to help me guide writing my body paragraph so if I am going to discuss these attributes, so three different attributes, then in my body, in the body or the remember the meat, the hamburger part of the bun, then you want to probably have three different paragraphs, one on contentment, one on loyalty, and one on trust. This body part of the paragraph is where all of the practice that you have been doing with the races writing strategy and those written responses in units one, two, and three, that is where that practice is going to come into play. So in the body of the paragraph, or the body of the essay, you are going to 
touch on every attribute that you list. So if you list one, then you're just going to have one paragraph. If you list two, then you're going to have two body paragraphs. If you list three, you're going to have three body paragraphs. But what you're going to do per paragraph is take the topic of contentment and you are going to explain using a text why contentment is important in healthy relationships. Again, leave out your opinion, just give facts. So that's what your body of the paragraph of the essay is going to entail. Then all you're going to do here on the closing is you're just going to bring everything to a close. You can restate your thesis statement here. So I could just go, um, ultimately, building healthy relationships requires certain attributes as contentment, loyalty, or requires the attributes of contentment, loyalty, and trust. Having those attributes allows a person to have quality friendships. Something along that line is what you want to do. So you can restate your thesis. Just make sure that you're bringing everything to a close here. So that is the essence of the essay. This is the standard format. You can also remember use the PowerPoint right here if you would rather do that and be a little bit creative and add graphics or add any kind of multimedia, feel free to do that. The video production format or the podcast, if you would like to use that and inter like interview someone about relationships, that is totally fine as well. But I just wanted to run through this fairly quickly for you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at cwigton at ohva.org, or you can call or text 330-828-6840.